I'm Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. As you can see from the title today, I'm trying viral TikTok crafts. So let's get started. Okay, I'm really excited about this one. Let's watch it together. Let's do some floating chalk prints. You'll need a basin for water, some chalk, paper, and a tongue depressor to scrape with. I'm just using my chalk and scraping it into a fine powder onto the surface of the water. Okay, we've Once got that's all the supplies full, to do lay this. a piece of paper just on the surface of water and pull it up to capture the chalk, making a really cool print. Try it again. So cool. You can use the same basin of water. Make sure the chalk is a nice thin dust particles. Pull it up and voila, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so that's the first one and I did get permission from Cassie to use this TikTok, so thank you, Cassie. Um, let's try it now. Okay, so I have these really cool chalk pastels that have been in my craft room for years, and then I also have some big chalk from the Dollar Tree, and then I've got a tin tray to put my water in, so first let's start. You need water, so I'm gonna put water in. Woo! Think I need more water. No, that's it. Okay, so now you should probably use a knife, but I'm gonna use a scissor. Um, or she used a tongue depressor. And now I'm just gonna put a bunch of color in. That's Katie up here, my best friend. She's helping me. <laughs> Ow! Okay, Matt. <gasps> Ow! I think I cut myself. Okay, be careful. That's why you shouldn't do that. Tongue depressor? Yeah, don't use the scissor, but let's keep going. Okay, now we're gonna dip it. You're supposed to do it really quickly and then bring it back up. So here we go. One, two, three. Down. Oh my gosh. Up. Did it work? Did it work? It worked? So cool. <gasps> that is... So cool. I want to do a lot more. Just be a little deeper. Cool. It's like lime. Yeah. This really is fun, I gotta say. Oh. Okay, now for the last one, I'm gonna try like plain sidewalk chalk to see if the fancy Michael's store chalk was more pigmenty and maybe this is a little bit duller. Maybe this one won't work. Let's find out. And here we go for the dollar store chalk test. Did it work? Okay, not as cool as my fancy chalk, but it definitely still worked. Um, this kind of looks like oceany. Uh, but I would say that if you want to do this seriously, maybe invest in like a fancy chalk. Um, you know, use a 40% off coupon, get something cool. These are actually chalk pastels. And while I don't know exactly what that means, they worked great. I attached Cassie's TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, everything in the description below. So definitely go and follow her. She has tons of cool content, more stuff that I want to try. So thank you, Cassie, for letting me uh, try your TikTok today. Let's try the next one. Okay, this next TikTok is by Jane Love Design. She's also on YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. So let's watch it together. Also, I don't have the music playing because I don't want to get copyright claims, so that's why it's silent. Okay, so this one is really, really cool. I have all the supplies I need already. So I've got my alcohol ink here, and I do not have a ceramic bowl, but I do have ceramic coasters from Michaels. So I have these ceramic coasters that I'm gonna use. Thanks, Katie. And I have this saran wrap that you need as well, like you saw in the video. So first let's open these up. Okay, they're just plain white ones. I use these all the time. They're great blanks. And I think it would be fun to try a bunch of different color combinations because I have four opportunities here. So let's do that. Okay, so I have a big amount of saran wrap first. And I see that she puts the alcohol ink onto the saran wrap. So she seems to do it randomly. So I'm gonna get some pink on this one and this one.
Okay, all of my alcohol ink is down and now I'm simply gonna flip this over onto the coasters. Here we go, three, two, one. And then just kind of, looks like she just presses them in. Okay, so I have them all wrapped. I know that she left hers 24 hours before she opened them, but it looks like they're really being absorbed um, themselves. I don't know that I need to do that, but I am gonna leave them over so future Madison will be back to show you what they look like. Okay, here's how they look. I ended up adding more yellow when I turned the camera off. Unfortunately, they do not have that crackle effect, and I think the reason could be perhaps because I didn't use super sticky saran wrap. Mine actually wasn't sticky at all. Also, the crackle effect may work better on a bowl or on something that isn't flat, but I do love the way they turned out. Not what I thought, but I'm not mad about it. But I would also not consider it a complete win. Definitely gonna try on a bowl next time and with stickier saran wrap. And here is all the artist information if you wanna take a quick screen grab. Okay, time for the next one. So here is the next TikTok, also on silent. This is really cool. I don't know if you can tell yet, but she is making a beautiful rose. This is something that we can do. I've got glue, glue sticks, um, a flame, and ribbon. So let's test this one out. So here I have my blue ribbon and a lollipop like she used, and I'm just going to copy exactly what she did here. Although as I'm folding, it looks like these strips are a bit too long. Um, anyway, I've got my matches out so we can use this cool fired melting method. Let's uh, burn the sides here. Okay, this was more complex than she made it look, or maybe I'm just a beginner here, but this isn't really working for me, so I'm gonna use the glue gun instead, which I know will be messy, unfortunately. And yes, I was right, it was a complete stringy mess. It was hard for me to film because my fingers were all gluey. Not to mention I had no patience for neatness here, but uh, here's our long row of rose petals, and now I'm just gonna use a stem from an old fake flower and wrap it around like she did. And this is already so bulky. Uh, yeah, this is a miss for me, not my kind of craft. The fire didn't work, it was a hot mess, and I was so frustrated that I didn't even wanna try again, so I'm gonna call it a fail. And lastly, here is all of the artist information if you wanna check them out. Okay, and last but not least, I am really excited about this TikTok. This is from Get Flossy. She makes beautiful backdrops out of tablecloths. So I went to the Dollar Tree, I got a bunch of plastic tablecloths, and then I didn't have like whatever she's using, this kind of like, I don't know, chicken wirey fence, but I did get rug, um, you know, a base of a rug. Uh, from Michael, so I'm gonna use that and I am gonna go in my room and watch TV and try this and then I'm gonna put it up and show you how it turned out. So I'm gonna do that now, be back in a minute, but really be back in like 24 hours. Okay, so this definitely worked as you can see. I didn't love the color options the dollar store had, so if I were to do this again, I would order big colorful rolls off of Amazon, but it was super budget friendly and I did have to make some snips in the rug canvas so that the squares were big enough to slip the table cover through, but this was for sure a win. This is an adorable background for photos for a party. This is fun and cute and I'll definitely be making more of these in the future. And then here is all of Get Flossy's information if you want to take a quick screen grab. Okay, that's it for today. I tried four TikToks. They were all very successful. That was a lot of fun. I definitely want to do this again in the future. If you enjoyed the video, I would love if you could give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to see more fun and crafty content. If there's a TikTok you think that I should try, please comment below and let me know and I will give it a go. I kind of rhymed. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest at Mad Crafty. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Gosh, that was, that was a mouthful. That was so good though. Thanks. Okay. Now, I was going to do something else, but like, I don't want to. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, are you sure you don't need more help? I can...